Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to do a real quick video on a couple of ways that are really, really simple that you can troubleshoot uh, a stackable washer dryer like this one. Uh, this is a Kenmore stackable washer dryer. Uh, the model number is located right here on the inside of the dryer door. It's model number 110.88. Seven five two seven nine two. Uh, so that's the model number, and then it also has the serial number on there as well. So on these stackable washer dryers, there's a couple problems that you'll run into pretty frequently uh, that are fairly typical for these units. Uh, so if your dryer is not heating or uh, drying clothes properly, then there's a couple of different things that you want to check. So when you come to uh, the unit, you want to make sure, number one, that the drum inside the dryer is spinning. Um, if it's not spinning, then there's a chance that the belt could be bad or the motor uh, could also be bad. If it's not drying well, you also want to check to make sure that the lint filter is empty. Um, this one sometimes can get looked over just because it's located on the back side, but you do want to make sure that you're uh, pulling that out and that you're cleaning uh, that lint filter out. Whenever you're uh, cleaning the lint filter, you also want to check behind the lint filter because it's easy for uh, lint, especially when these units get old, to get caught up behind. Uh, so as you can see, this is behind the lint filter. So the lint filter is supposed to catch all of this, um, but it's it's covering this little uh, wire grate. And so there's quite a bit of lint can get caught up on there. So you wanna make sure um, that you check that for lint as well. When you're troubleshooting this, uh, one of the quick ways you can uh, tell that it's heating is uh, for one, if you want, you can hold this a uh, little peg right here and actually start the unit uh, and kind of stick your hand in there and see if it's blowing hot air inside the unit. It should blow hot air in directly through that little vent area. Um, another way you can test it if you don't want to stand there and hold it for a little while while it heats up, you can also uh, take like a damp dish towel and toss it in there and it should get warm uh, after a little bit or you should feel uh, the, in, the air inside the drum starting to heat up you want to make sure if you're trying to test it that when you're turning the dryer on right here don't turn it to right there you want to make sure you go past the touch-up mark because once it gets to touch up it's not heating anymore it's just spinning and sucking the uh, the moist air out of the drum so you want to make sure if you're checking the heat you turn it to somewhere high on the um, where it's high heat and make sure that the uh, time is pretty high so that you know that the unit is supposed to be heating. Now if you've checked to make sure that the unit is heating and you can feel that the unit is uh, pulling or is pushing a little bit of heat out through that vent but it's still not drying your clothes well then chances are you're going to need to check uh, and make sure that the air is being uh, sucked out of this drum. So how this dryer works is when it's spinning, uh, it's fluffing your clothes, it's mixing it around with this warm air, and as the warm air is evaporating the moisture in the clothes, it's also sucking air through uh, this little hole where the lint filter goes, and it's blowing that air through a vent on the exterior of the building that this dryer is inside of. And so you wanna make sure that as well as heating, it's also sucking the moist air out because if it's not, it's not gonna dry your clothes well. So one of the things that can stop it from sucking moist air out is if the lint filter is clogged or if there's lint behind the lint filter. Um, you'll also wanna check and make sure that the uh, vent, the ductwork for the vent is uh, not clogged as well because sometimes over time, lint can get built up into that ductwork that's on the back side of this dryer. Uh, so you want to check that as well. And I'll show you a quick way. Uh, w one of the easy ways to check that is to just go to the outside of the building. If you have easy access to that exterior vent where this uh, dryer vents the air out to the outdoors, um, then you can go there and you can test it really quick.
Now, if you went to the exterior of the building to the where the dryer vent exhausts uh, into the outdoors, then um, if you felt it and it was blowing pretty consistently, then chances are your uh, vent shouldn't be clogged and your uh, dryer fan should be perfectly fine. If you check the vents and there's no lint here, there's if you look inside the exhaust on the exterior of the building and there's no lint clogged up in that uh, part of the vent as well, then chances are your uh, blower fan is broken um, or has just worn down over time and so you have to replace that. So that's a really quick way to troubleshoot a dryer on this stackable uh, Kenmore washer dryer unit. If this video is helpful, please give it a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer those as quickly as I can. Have a good one.